Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am looking at Void Expanse, an early access space RPG. Now, this wonderful looking spaceship is the 3D rendered version of the actual spacecraft in the game, which are a lot smaller when you see them. Let's just create a world, and I'm just going to use this random number, call it New World 5, and start the creation. I am playing God as a galaxy is being created from my seed. Wait, that didn't sound right. My random seed. Okay, oh god, what is this person doing with that ridiculous hair? Uh, let's do that. Let's get rid of that ridiculous beard and that ridiculous hair and give him some ridiculous eyebrows and a ridiculous nose. That, that will pass for me. Okay. So you can be an adventurer, engineer, fighter, prospector, scout, or trader. Uh, adventurer seems like a good plan. Adventurers don't have any advantages compared to other classes, but they are free from all their constraints, allowing them to pursue any path they may choose. Ah, uh, yes, I do want to create this character. Void Expanse. It's by Atomic Torch Studios. Uh, it is early access right now, but it is actually very complete for an early access title. So we have all the usual um, you know, 3D spaceship or flying in a two-dimensional world kind of things going on here. You could fly around like that, you could, you know, lateral shifting, and um, it says there's a quest. A ah, long way to the top, I've bought an old civilian shuttle and I want to go to this station and talk to a guy called One-Eyed Joe. So I'm just going to dock because there's a lot of red dots around, and red dots are also known as pirates or bad guys. I come into Tantalus 9, the outpost base with big robot arms sitting in the ceiling and low quality ships here. These are pretty low poly ships, I have to say. Uh, considering this is a static image, <laughs> I'm just wondering how this robot arm, is that actually able to reach the ground and pick up things here? Or, or do they have to have like a forklift in the ground that lifts up the crates? Never mind, let's find One-Eyed Joe and talk to him. Ah, uh, hello, I'm new here. Ah, uh, hey, you're from one of the farmers, etc. I've come because I'm looking for adventure. Ah, oh, stole your father a rusty piece of junk at thinking you're a fighter now, didn't you? Galaxy is a dangerous place, don't you? Yes, I like my father's junk. No, I didn't. No, I, I mean his his rusty. I, it's no, no, it's his spaceship. If you want to fight, you should consider to join a faction. Say a guy with the green markings in the order. He says I need a descent ship. I think he means decent ship, not referring to the classic uh, descent games. There are other factions, as long as you're new here, I can fill you in with present situation if you want. Why are you helping me? I don't know, maybe because you remind me of my elder son, Jeremiah, or maybe I see something in your eyes, that fire that I once used to have. Um, yeah, because if you have only one eye, you have half as much fire on your eyes, right? I'm gasking about a new ship. Okay, here's the deal, I've got a couple of old banshee hulls here in this station. Fix them myself, you know, flying like an eagle. At least, in theory. Uh, I don't know, are you sure? Because eagles aren't known for their ability to fly in space. They tend to just float around, tumbling even. Their wings don't do very much against the vacuum of our space. But tr first do me a favor, would you have some troubles with a pirate? His name's Scurvy. What a great name for a pirate. They hi he hijacked one of my caravans, stole something, and I've got to go and get it back. Hell yeah, let's do that. But first, we're going to check the other stuff here. Shop lets me buy things. Hanger lets me fit things. And what I have in my stores is a Power Boss Mark II. That's a type of engine. And I don't know about you, but I like a powerful boss pushing me around all the time. Um, skills is my skill tree. You can actually spend your skill points. You start with a few. You just click on the blue nodes and you can expand them. So there's my thruster tuning. Now I can get skills in cruising and vectoring. Uh, combat, I can train up combat consumables, which is a useful thing to have. That basically makes my shield and everything repair faster, a little faster. There are also uh, asteroid mining and this is haggling, I'm not in persuading. So I guess that, you know, to, to unlock some of these you need a whole bunch of, uh, of the previous skills, other ones you need to actually be a specific level. There we have! 
I should find a pirate named Scurvy, which should be pretty easy, because uh, Scurvy is one of those things that old seafaring dogs got all the time. There he is on the map, there's a few red dots between me and him. And in the larger scale of things we have a galaxy which is zoned off into regions which are blue and light blue and green, yellow and of course red, and these correspond to the factions. We have the Fanatics, the Zengatarn, the Pirates, yay, the Order, no faction, and the Freedom. Freedom! Yes. So we can uh, deal with those guys later, but right now I'm just going to go into space and find this pirate. Okay, so I should have guns and everything here. Wait a second, there's a white dot there. Sometimes these white dots are cargo. Sometimes. Yes, because what happens is these turrets, they shoot the pirates kind of on their own. And I can grab the cargo from space and get myself a radar basic. Sure, basic radar is nice to have. Anyway, let's head back towards this thing, and I'm just going to press C to fire up my uh, engine. And those are pirates with big guns. The pirate I'm looking for is... Oh, wait! There's two of these guys! Oh, crap. I just went straight in between them there. Ha! The bet they didn't expect that. Because, you know, I totally expected... Oh, he's here already! Ah, there. Die! Die with your laser! Come on! Ah, come on! Gotta deal with this guy quickly. Yes! And then there's this guy here. No, there's too many pirates! I need to put some distance between me and them to let my shields regenerate. Okay. Uh, fire the hyperspace boost and then turn around. Okay. Oh man, the, all the pirates are coming for me! I want to get this package! I want the package, that's all I'm here for! I'm not here to fight you guys, I'm here for your packages. Come on! Yes, take all! Okay, now we're gonna go. Go fast, fast, fast. Okay, there we go. Super hyperspace boost. Oh dear. Okay, that was not good. That was not good. Now I gotta remember to get back to the station. I don't see a way to actually mark the station on the map. That green thing in the map up here, or the radar, is a warp gate, I think. Based on what I've seen, warp gates, of course, let you jump to other solar systems. And I must be in the right direction, because here is the station. Whew! Oh no, that's that's the warp gate. That's not what I want to go for. There's another pirate nearby, but he's not approaching. Okay. Round the front of the station and deliver my package to One-Eyed Joe, who's... Obviously a distant relative of Cotton Eye Joe. Okay. One Eye Joe. What do you have to say? Aha, I see you got my package. Reasoned with scurvy. Yes, I just took a lot of vitamin C. Did you? Good job. These pirates are getting worse every day. You know, damn Morgullus. He knows how to train his men. Your new hull is waiting for you in your storage. You've earned my congratulations. Okay, so I can ask him about jobs and he says no we haven't got any factions and I could tell all about the fanatics for example for god's sake why would you ever consider such an option they're lunatics you know well if you're serious about it I've heard that one of them is now at orders capital that's all I needed to know I can ask him about his um, eye and things like that I'm just gonna say tell me about Narmers you should visit your history class. I'm no history teacher. Normans are an alien race. That's your union with Federation of Independent Worlds. Whoa, there's actual history here. I'm just saying, I want to do this. This guy here, he's from the Order. He's going to give me things to do. But right now, let's just kind of kit out my spaceship a little, right? So we actually have, uh, what we do is we substitute items here. So we can take the Banshee hull, drag it in here. Now I have a Banshee. I can put my civilian laser back in there. And let's uh, fit the radar basic. Go to the shop, we can actually buy myself a civilian mining device. And you know what that's going to do? That's going to let me mine asteroids. Um, so back to the hangar. And we drop this in here. So that will be how I mine asteroids for gash. My skills, I, I'm, I haven't got any more skill points. I've got some experience now. 
Every time I go up a level I get more experience. Okay, let's go to this asteroid which is just like right here. How convenient. And you're gonna cruise in ever so carefully and try starting to kill this. Uh, not kill this. Yes, there we go. There. Nope. Four. No. Oh, it, it wanted to go, but apparently didn't. I don't know how to stop here. Maybe, is there a button? Fire! Ah, there we go. Okay. God, it took a long time to fire that uh, asteroid mining laser. But I gained 16 experience for my trouble, which is nice. I could just keep doing this, I guess, and get myself some level, huh? And get some ore. I've got Jepsite, Scythesite, and Fraclasite. All totally made up names. I wonder if there's made up site or unobtainium. Gee, this is a lot of fun. This is just like mining in EVE Online. I could even see the pirate there sitting wondering whether we should attack my ship or whether I'm actually part of the trap. Now this game does support multiplayer. I have not tried it at this time. There appears to be some sort of support for modding, which will be nice if people want to mod the game. Uh, we can go out around the bigger galaxy. I just want to gain an extra level of experience here. This is... Oh, there! I've reached level 2. Okay, let's go back to the station and uh, spend my ill-gotten gains. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just forget about that station. Let's go through the warp gate. There's a pirate as well. Let's kill him. Because, you know... Whoa! Hey, why, why are you shooting me? Ah, he's busy with the busy with the station. Ha <laughs> ha Brilliant. My skill. I get 185 experience. I should have just done that instead of, you know, shooting pirate uh, instead of shooting asteroids. Let's jump. I don't care where we're going. Well, I don't know where we're going, but I do know where I've been. Oh. Oh dear, 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 dear. Come on, die. Come on, your shields are down. You can't survive much longer against my beam laser thingy. Oh, actually, he is dying. Oh, I should probably get get some more distance. Let my shield regenerate. Oh, ha, ha, look at that! I totally, I totally hid behind an asteroid. But now my shield is coming back. I should be able to shoot this guy a little better. Ah, oh, no, I died. Well, so much for that grand plan. I could have. Oh, there, I jump in. Okay, hold on. Now he's. Oh, he's flying again! Let's put some distance between me and him. You know what I should do before then? So I can bring up the map very quickly and see where I'm gonna go. Uh, there's no station here, so I guess I'll just gonna fly that direction. I thought there would be a station to fly to, but apparently not. Well, before then, why don't I adjust my skills so I've got a little more awesomeness in this spacecraft. Let's spend some more money. Uh, that's it. Okay, I didn't get very much. More maneuvering skill. I've no idea what this next station is in. This is... I mean... Oh, Lumana. Okay. Lumana is a green system. We're going to go to a green system. Which means it is part of the order. The order for putting things in order. They have a serious sorting problem, or sorting obsession. Okay, let's fire my booster again, because I want to avoid these guys. Oh, oh, flying near the sun. I probably shouldn't... Oh, look, my shields. Oh, no, is that normal? That's nice, nice effects there on that. And still going this way. We're trying to get to Lumana. <laughs> you can't turn fast enough to catch me. Catch me if you can. And we make the jump gate and we're out of here. Okay, I wonder if I lost my cargo for dying or anything. Is that punishment? Is that my deserved punishment for uh, thinking, uh, for, for, you know, fighting a level above what I should? So, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue over this way and, of course... Hyper space jump. Oh, the world has been saved. Yay, I have saved the world. The thing will auto-save for you. And there's, you know, as I said, whole universe to explore, but I don't want to deal with this guy right now. I want to just avoid getting shot. Ah, uh, is that? No, that's a warp gate. 
Unfortunately, pressing M stops my uh, spacecraft in its tracks, so you can't look at the map while navigating, and there's no way to target the space station. That's something I would really like to see in a future version, sirs. Oh, oh, don't want to crash there. Oh, there we go. There's my space station. Let's see what mighty way station this is. Oh, it's the same as the other ones. How boring. I, I've seen a lot of other stations, but this one, unfortunately, is identical to them. Still, we have a shop, which will sell me all sorts of fancy uprated lasers. Plasma cannons, ion cannons, pulse lasers. They have it all. They have auto cannons, so I could fit a couple of weapons in my spaceship. They have uprated reactive shields and power plating, magnetic shields, uh, gravitational shields. This is all very fascinating stuff, and of course, I think, oh, I guess, can I only sell so much? How do I sell more? Oh yeah, I just keep adding stuff to the store and it s sells it. That's why I can make a little bit of cash here. And then I could perhaps fit some extra things to improve my spacecraft and make it more awesome, like reinforced bulkheads. Because bulkheads are always breaking on these spacecraft. Gravitational grabbers. I can look at the journals and I can talk to these guys. The story is not procedural. There is a whole bunch of people and a, an actual story that is supposedly planned out within the game, which uh, gives it a little step up about, uh, compared to other you know, top-down games. Uh, so the game is Void Expanse. It's available from voidexpanse.com. It is by Atomic Torch Studios. If you like this sort of thing, it might be worth checking out. It is early alpha. If not, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.